This is a beautiful place. It is very, very peaceful. I lived, uh, I think, maybe three blocks from Walmart. And the day before, I had taken my daughter with her kids to buy clothes for school. It was a day before the shooting. And then the following day, we had to go to Walmart again to get some water. And as we were in the parking lot, one of my daughters called a friend of mine, which was driving me to Walmart, saying, Mom, tell Mom, go home, go home. But she wouldn't say anything. When we got home, we had phone calls from just about everybody. What is going on, mija? What is, she said, Mom, there was a shooting at Walmart. I said, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, a friend of ours was at Walmart that day. And she helped one of the ladies. She told us she had one of the ladies was in a you know, wheelchair. She took her to the back where they had the groceries and they hid. But she could still hear the sound of the banging, the shots, the shots and the shots. And it's, it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. And these are stories that they stay with you. They always stay with you. It's sad. If you had the, sh the alleged shooter in front of you, oh my God. what would you tell him? How can he do this? How can he do this? I would tell why? Why? Why do this? But who knows? He's the only one that knows why he did it. And God help him. God help him. Now that you're here uh -huh. and uh, you feel that the peace, it's very peaceful, it's very quiet. Yes. Does this bring you any kind of uh, closure or relief? Comfort. Comfort. That at least we can pray for these people. You know, pray that God help them, give them peace and their families. Because this is what we need. We need peace.